Hey guys, so it's been a while since my last video. Um, so it's not because I haven't been filming, I've actually filmed three videos that I've wanted to post, some really nice ones actually. Although the one I didn't catch anything, so I wouldn't have uploaded that. But um, the first one was sort of like a challenge. Um, I won't give you details because I want to redo it sometime. Um, but it went really well. And then the second one, like I said, I didn't catch anything. Third one, um, I actually finally caught a barramundi. So, yeah, it, it was actually really cool. Um, I went back to that same place where I was doing that night fishing and I caught two barramundi, hooked a nice one as well that I lost right at the bank. Um, Juan caught two barramundi and some other guy also caught a barramundi while I was there. So it was really good and I was really keen to edit it up and put it out there but um, I realized you know I've been having these problems with uploading my footage and whatever um, and it's come down to my memory card that I was using so it just wasn't working out um, it was the memory card was like getting corrupted and stuff but I wasn't thinking that it could have been the memory card because you know some of the footage would work and some of it wouldn't so I, I didn't know what was going on uh, but you know, I've sorted it out now. I've got a new memory card and it's working 100%. So, today's a new day and I will be doing regular uploads from now. Um, so today I'm going to, one of our friends has moved into like a, their own little house and they have a pond in their backyard. So it's, it's really small, um, but there's apparently snakehead in there, um, according to the owner and some giant paku but yeah I'm gonna go and see if we can try and catch one of those snakehead uh, just for the fun of it and then this evening I'm gonna be going out to that um, place where we did the night fishing again where I caught the barramundi and try and catch some more of those guys uh, so I'll probably go there at about half past three this afternoon get there for a nice evening session um, I do have a headlamp now, so if it does get dark, at least I'll have some light for you guys. Um, yeah, so stay tuned, and I'm looking forward to it, and hopefully it goes well. I'm pretty positive the footage will turn out okay this time, and I'll be able to upload it. So, yeah, just hang around, and let's see what we can do. I don't want to hook your ducks. Are they big fuckers? See, There's it. <laughs> First cast. I told you, you owe me lunch. Oh my staff, not bad, dude. Can I get you anything? I've got pliers. Do you need pliers? Yeah, please, mate. Oh, first snakehead, guys. Like in this little pond at someone's house. Oh, there we go. First snakehead. Right guys, so I managed to find a hook, so we've just tied a hook onto the line, so we're not going to have any weight on there, and Simone's just going to put one of these pellets on, and see if we can just catch even a tilapia or something. Nice. Fish, Fish on. on. Nice. Hi, <laughs> oh, friend. How are you? Oh, it's pretty. It's a tilapia. Blue tilapia. Here we go. Little tilapia. Cheers, dude. Just a little. Yo, yo, there's some big ones there. Okay, go. There, there, there. Oh, you missed them. 
Oh, 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 I saw that guy take it in. Nice. <laughs> Brad, we oh, caught one of your that. bigger tilapia. <laughs> Will you bring the pliers? Oh, wait. Yes. Please bring the pliers. It's the second tilapia we've caught now. Right, guys, here we are. Back at the Barramundi spot. Um, it's about 4 p.m. It's insanely hot still. I just want the sun to go down, but then again, we need the light for you guys. But you know, I just, I want that like sunset vibe. Okay, let's come to the lucky spot over here. So I've just finished on that side. Well, when I last spoke to you guys, I was here and I've just been on that side for a while and now I'm back here. And while I was that side, I was just about to lift my lure out of the water and Barramundi knocked it right there. I wasn't expecting it. Didn't want to try and like set the hook too hard in case I pulled the bait out of his mouth. So sort of just tightened my drag, tried to get it to hook itself and it came off right there but at least we know they're on the bite someone on that side just caught a barramundi not on lure something else but at least we know they're around yeah guys i've just had a drink of water gotta keep hydrated in this heat it's absolutely killing this heat here i mean you know, and our humidity is up to like 80-90% at the moment. <sighs> Sitting with like 40 degrees Celsius days. It's, it's killer. I can't wait for like, in the next month or two it should cool down a bit. We're ending summer now, sometime. So, I just can't wait. So I'm going to Fukak. Um, for those of you that don't know, it's a island in the south of uh, south of Vietnam, Gulf of Thailand. Um, and I'm going to try and do a little bit of surf fishing there, just some small stuff. See what other fishing is available. Um, so I'm quite keen for that. That'll be end of next month I'll be there so I'll probably have some cool footage for you guys hopefully so I'm really looking forward to that and then I've got a little like fishing tour coming up near the end of the year not a fishing tour like I'm going to Thailand to do some fishing I won't give you guys too much details or too many details um, it's gonna be really cool and yeah hopefully it's a good surprise for you guys so like I say I won't give away too much just excuse the wind if you can hear it um, it is coming from my right hand side at the moment but it is nice for me because kind of cooling me down a little bit having a breeze If you guys are keen on seeing the barramundi I caught last time, go and check out my Instagram. I'll put a link down below. And it was it was okay. It wasn't huge. I did catch two of them, but one of the photos was on the GoPro because I didn't have anything else with me. And the other one, Huang, was here and took a photo of it for me. Um, so yeah. You guys should go and check that out if you want to. 
I'm just, I really want to catch another one here. Because, I mean, it was really cool going to Brad's place earlier, catching in that little pond. I mean, it's the first time I caught a snakehead, guys. I know it's not exactly like proper fishing, you know, it was just a tiny little pond. Um, but it was still pretty cool to just hold it and see it. Uh, and Simone caught three tilapia, a small one and two pretty large ones actually for these blue tilapia. I think they get up to about one and a half kilos. Um, that's about their max size if I'm not mistaken. So those guys were, those guys were pretty decent, you know. Whew. Got quite a nice sunset on its way, although it's a little hazy this evening. I'm gonna grind this out till sunset for you guys, maybe even longer. And then once it's dark, head over to that other little pond. These barramundi are quite aggressive fish, so you know, I'm giving it quite a jerking action. Um, it's worked with the last four bites I've had over the last two days I've fished here. You know, um, it's also what Huang showed me here. Yeah, these guys just absolutely smash it. They don't play around at all. So, yeah, just keeping that action going. You know, two jerks and a slight pause. And it's often in that slight pause that they nail your, nail your bait. They get all interested by the jerking action. Um, you know, it sort of triggers them. And then you let it pause for a little while and that's when they decide to come up and smash it. So, fishing with the spinnerbait now. Just waiting a few minutes for the sun to get a bit lower and hopefully the barramundi come on the bite. Oh, the fish on. Oh, I had it. Came off. Huh? Yeah. Might have been a foul hook. <laughs> So guys, we're back at it with the lure. Sun's going down quite nicely. Much cooler now, much more bearable, should I say. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we can get on something. A few more guys have arrived now, so we'll see if anyone catches anything. And then if we don't catch anything, you know, it's quite a shame because I really wanted to catch a barramundi. I wish that footage from the other day had come through for you guys. Um, but if we don't catch anything here, we'll definitely go and try some more that side for at least some catfish or something. Like I say, I got the headlamp, so it might be a bit better this time. You know, those last few videos were very dark. I apologize again for that. Um, so yeah, let's just see what happens. Right guys, getting dark now, unfortunately, haven't had any luck. So, gonna put on a spinner, go and try for some catfish in that corner. We'll see what we can do.